Not since the 1970s has an NFL team been here on campus at Monmouth University. It was the Giants then. It's the Eagles today in West Long Branch alongside Miles Austin, one of Mama's favorite sons back here on campus. I guess this is what it's like to be a 10-year veteran. You get a couple extra days of practice and you want to come back home. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. Uh, it was just, uh, I don't know how it happened. I guess the Pope, uh, miracles uh, happen to happen. You know, whenever the Pope comes, a miracle happens. And uh, thankfully, we're able to come here and uh, I was able to show the guys, uh, you know, kind of where I came from. A little bit of a perfect storm between the Pope being in the area and you guys having the perfect schedule almost playing the Jets this weekend up at MetLife. Talk about what it's like to be back here in the area. You're a New Jersey guy born and bred playing now with the Eagles. I'm sure it's a lot easier for family to kind of connect. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, all the home games, you know, my family can make it to now. Uh, in Dallas and Cleveland, it was obviously more of a trip. So, uh, you know, it's just great. You know, you, you go to the game. You know, I got my son, obviously. So him, my wife, got my parents sister you know nephew the whole deal so uh it's great to uh you know to be in this area and especially to be able to uh be fortunate enough to come back here and practice for a couple of days you know you've always been so gracious with your time since being in the nfl always making the connection back to the program that got you started here at monmouth just talk about what it's what it's like to be back here on campus and know that this is the place where everything kind of started oh it's great it's great you know uh i mean obviously i'll come back here a bunch anyway but uh to be able to practice here and be able to show the other guys kind of where I came from I think is uh, it's a special opportunity and uh, it's something I know doesn't happen uh, very often for anyone in the, in the NFL to be able to practice with their NFL team back at their old college and uh, you know I, I just think it's a, it's a great opportunity and I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just glad to be a part of it. You know you're still tops in terms of receiving yards total touchdowns do you still think back to those days at Monmouth and just remember all the good times that you had? Yeah, I mean, uh, there's definitely times, you know, when you, when I'm sitting there with all the guys, you know, uh, some of my roommates and, you know, friends from Monmouth, you know, whenever I go to the, uh, uh, whether it be the golf outing or somewhere else where you just talk about, you know, funny stories that happened or games that you played and things that you remember. So I think uh, it's something that you always do, uh, you know, with, uh, with guys on the team. That's something special about being a part of a, a team like that. You've always been very humble since leaving here. I know that for sure. Uh, but what does it mean to you to be the one guy who kind of opened the door for a lot of now Monmouth guys to be in the NFL? Neil Sterling with the Jaguars, Chris Hogan still with the Bills among those. But you were the guy who kind of got it all started. Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't say uh, opening the door because uh, obviously those guys earned the um, the uh, opportunities that they've been given. You know, uh, I think we all kind of go into each day uh, in each practice, in, in whether it be in college or the NFL, and, and you try to make the best of it. And, uh, you know, was I the first one to maybe go? Absolutely. But I, I feel like those guys uh, and future guys to come uh, all have to uh, earn the right in which they do uh, to, to be able to uh, have the opportunity and the privilege to, uh, to play in the NFL. You know, not just now 10 years in, but having an opportunity to play in Dallas, Cleveland, and now Philadelphia, you've been part of the most passionate fan bases anywhere in the NFL. Yeah, it's, uh, it's crazy, you know. So, uh uh, Cleveland was pretty crazy last year. Obviously, Philly's crazy. Um, uh, Dallas is a huge fan base. And, uh, you know, it was just interesting, you know, being on both sides of Dallas and Philly, um, you know, just to, to feel the difference, you know. And I um, can't really describe the different sides of it, but uh, it's just, you know, it's an interesting uh, thing to be a part of on both sides. You know, when you think about Monmouth football from when you were here back in the early 2000s to what it is now, uh, FCS level football kind of continuing, full scholarship, members of the Big South. You and I have talked about it before, but just always nice to see that kind of that continuing program that Monmouth's evolving into. Yeah, it's, uh, that's what I was telling a bunch of the guys here. You know, when I came in, I, I don't know how many scholarships we had. You had to chop up a bunch of them. There was like 10 scholarships that you had to then chop up between however many people on the team you know, get academic uh, merits and uh, financial aid and kind of put together packages. But now the fact that, you know, 60 full scholarships uh, 10 years later is, uh, you know, obviously uh, shows you the, the progression in the, in the right direction that this whole program's going. And, uh, you know, uh, hopefully 10 years from now, it'll be even further, you know, in the same direction. One of the things and one of the uh, obviously objectives here for Monmouth is to get the stadium finished off. Some of the players during the course of the offseason talked about just how important that would be. For you as a former player, when you come back here, that's kind of the one missing piece to make Monmouth just that higher level football program. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, a stadium definitely is something that, um, you know, to, to, to the untrained eye. I mean, personally, how I, how I felt was uh, coming from here, playing in this, to going to the NFL, just my own personal stance was, I didn't feel a difference. Um, you know, when you make a play, when I make a play here at Monmouth, 
you know, I don't know how many people here, 5,000 people, whatever the deal is. It's a passionate and emotional thing. And, and to me, it's loud, you know what I'm saying? I feel like uh, you, you go to a big stadium and it's the same feeling regardless if there's 100,000, for me personally. However, the optics of a, of a, a huge, great stadium is, uh, is, is a huge thing, you know, as far as recruiting, as far as, uh, you know, being able to hold more people and, um, you know, hopping in different leagues or, you know, whatever the, the league um, uh, conference situations, uh, however they may go. So I think uh, it's definitely a, an important thing uh, to look into. And, uh, you know, it's, it's something I, I, I'm really um, looking forward to potentially at some point helping out. It's always great to see you back here on campus. Thanks for giving us a few minutes. Thank you. Thank you. At least today, Fly Hawks has become Fly Eagles Fly. Miles Austin getting set for the Eagles matchup against the Jets up at MetLife Stadium. Covering the Eagles practice at Mama Stadium. I'm Matt Harmon on the Mammoth Digital Network.